The Moto Razor is back. Oh my god. <laughs> We are taking a vicarious look at the Moto Razor 2019. Yes, that flip phone. And this was just announced last night. We're also going to be talking a little bit to our on the floor reporter, Joshua Vergara, who has his very own hands on video on the phone, also known as he got invited to the event and I didn't. <laughs> But yeah, finally, this is a phone that folds the way I want it, the way I need it to. Let me explain by way of throwback. This phone folding doesn't necessarily solve my my hands are small and phones are getting bigger dilemma. Another one of my issues is, you know, big phones don't fit my hand. I need something that'll fit my pocket. So let's see if this works. I mean, it sort of does, right? It fits better than most phones. Ish. I'm also loving that it really fits my hand. Or my smaller pockets or bags. This is what phones are supposed to be like. This is why every single girl I've shown the teeny tiny palm phone to gets excited. Why am I so heated about this? Phones still don't fit my freaking hands. It's 2019 and there are literal folding phones. But instead of them folding smaller so that they could finally fit our tiny hands or our pockets or our bags, they just made the phone bigger. I think I speak for all the small-handed ladies when I say that I just want technological advancement to create a phone that folds to our small-handed advantage. So yes, this is a very big deal to me. I've said it once, I've said it a bajillion times. I really need smaller phones for my small hands, for my tight jean pockets, for tiny little cute purses because phones these days don't fit any of that. But yeah, let's take a step back. Basically, the Moto Razor 2019 is a phone that's sort of around a normal size phone these days and it folds into a smaller thing. And it's actually pretty small because it's as thick as the original Razor phones. This 2019 version of the Razer is all thanks to the new folding screen technologies. And they say that there are no creases on the actual screen that folds. Babe, are there creases on the Moto Razer? Uh, when it's fully open, you really can't tell. Uh, it's only when you start to like kind of fold it that you can see the mechanism working to fold the whole thing. But on the actual screen though, is there like a full like... No, it's just a flat uh, PLA. Nice. So yeah, Motorola's new folding screen mechanism, all thanks to Lenovo, finds a way to fold the phone without actually folding that screen flat. When closed, there's a 2.7 inch OLED display and a camera up front. So basically, they're saying that there are a range of actions that you can do with a phone closed. It's pretty cool because Moto is sort of championing a different way to use your phone. While the phone is closed, you can preview messages and emails and reply via voice. You can do calls and video calls with a tiny front facing screen and that camera. Also, the Moto actions are back. Like you can turn on the flashlight while doing a shopping action with the phone. You can put the phone face down and then it'll enter do not disturb mode. And you can even twist your wrist twice to activate selfie mode. Speaking of selfies, they also have what they call gesture control, which is something that allows you to take selfies remotely by putting up your palm. Something not really new if you've been on Chinese smartphones, but it's still a very good way to take good selfies. They also say that if you take a photo with a phone open, you can turn on a counter on the secondary screen so that the person you're taking a photo of would know when to say cheese. Then it'll show a tiny preview of the photo you just took so your photo subject knows that they don't look crappy in that photo. Another cute thing, you can program the phone to have a tiny little animation on the the secondary screen as you take a photo so that let's say your doggy will actually look at the screen when you take the photo so yeah based on that alone a folding phone that fits my hands and has that satisfying flipping I want this phone except this thing retails for 1,500 US dollars 
and it's only on Verizon and it only takes an eSIM. I mean, I guess that also means you get a year free of Disney Plus, but is it really that worth it? Considering there are a few things about this phone that people are a little concerned about. Mainly that there's no pink or orange version like the original Razer. No, but really, it's for that price, you're not even paying for the best processor out there. And those two cameras on this phone, they're not really the best. And it also runs on a tiny, tiny battery that's a 2510 mAh battery which is like super small compared to today's standards. But I guess that particular thing I'm willing to forgive because it is a tiny folding phone so it sort of makes sense that they have to make it smaller. Also, that screen resolution is supposedly not the best. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, and tying back to Moto saying that this phone is a great thing to be using in a more minimalist phone lifestyle, i.e. use it more with a phone folded and only with a tiny screen. It sort of makes sense. It's not a powerhouse, but it does the job. And despite all that, Moto says that if you buy this phone and it breaks within a year, they'll totally replace you. So that sort of quashes all your fears about having folding phones that break easy. And I guess after all this, the million dollar, the $1,500 question becomes, how does this phone feel in one's hands? How does, how does the new Razer feel in your hand? It literally feels like the old one. It's just a bit wider. Uh, and then obviously it's the full screen, uh, but overall it feels a lot, probably almost completely like the old one. How does it feel when you flip it? Fine. Um, it doesn't have the same snap when you close it because there's more resistance since it's since it's a foldable screen. So you, when you're when you're talking and then you snap it down, it actually takes a little bit more resistance. But other than that, it's about the same. I need it. So yeah, wrapping up 2019 is the year that we get a folding screen phone that I need that folds the way I want it to and I'm sure a lot of girls can agree with this. And it's also when we get the Moto Razor again, which in itself is something that a lot of people are excited over. I mean, bottom line is this phone is not for the hardcore techie or for those people who want the latest specs on a smartphone. Definitely, this is a lifestyle device with Moto offering us a different way of using our smartphones. Honestly, the best case scenario for me would be that I have this phone and my Instagram boyfriend will probably be taking my photos anyway, has the Pixel or some great camera smartphone. All things considered, I need this, I want this, except I don't have $1,500 to spend on a foldable phone. But I'm happy this is happening and I'm looking forward to more of these foldable smartphones. My pockets, thank you.